kapatid, walang relasyon, sa ama, ganun din po. He set off to a distant country. Nagpakalayo-layo. Pag hindi mo gusto at wala kang relasyon sa pamilya mo, lalayo ka talaga. <laughs> Amen. Pipiliin mo talagang tumira sa malayo kasi you have a biological family pero wala namang relasyon sa bahay na ito. Eh you will really go to a distant country at magsasarili ka na lang ng buhay mo. Nakita po natin walang relationship and connection to one another. What a dysfunctional family. Both brothers are distant with the father and with one another. The only difference was, was there. Anong difference nila? Kanilang location. Yung isa, na distant, talagang distant din. In, in space. Yung isa namang distant, nasa loob ng tahanan. Kaya anong sinasabi natin? Anong sinasabi sa atin dito? Church. Hindi po kinarito tayo ay eh malapit tayo sa iyo. Maaring nasa loob tayo ng building na ito. Pumupunta dito. Pero wala namang tayong genuine relationship with God. It can happen po. Pwedeng mangyari. So ano po ang ating conclusion? The younger son and the older son have everything in common except one thing. Ano po ang kanilang pagkakaiba? Lahat po pareho ang kanilang mga ginawa. Pareho po ang kanilang behavior, attitude toward their father. Only one thing makes them different from one another. The younger son come to a realization and had come to repentance of his shortcomings, but the elder brother did not. Amen? Sige po, palakpakan po natin ang Lord. Iisa lang. Yung isa, na-realize niya ang kanyang pagkakamali. And he came back to the father. Yung isa hindi po. Walang kwento na nagsabi na siya'y bumalik. Because he didn't see the need of repentance. Because he thinks he is righteous. So therefore he needed, he, he did not see the need to repent. Amen po ba? So ngayon po, the younger son was indeed lost but found. The elder son cannot be found because he never sees and consider himself lost. Ang hirap, pag sa tingin mo ay hindi ka lost, kahit lost na tayo. <laughs> So I pray today that we imitate the attitude of the younger son toward his, his father. Ito yung prayer po natin. Na imitate natin. Ano ba yung ginawa nun? Let's read the two verses before we end up. Sabi po dyan, be restored like the younger son. In verse 12, the younger son said to his father, Father, give me my share of estate. So he divided his property between them. So he was never the same after his genuine repentance. Hence, he asked his father, hindi po siya the same. After that genuine encounter or realization of his mistakes and shortcomings, that younger son was never the same. He started his dialogue with the father by saying, give me. It was such a demand. It 
was such a disrespectful demand. But after his realization and true and genuine repentance, in verse 19 he says, I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Now that give me has changed to Father make me like one of your hearts, sir. Nakita po natin yung difference? Hindi na tayo, Lord, give me. After coming, realizing our mistakes, lalapit tayo sa God, sasabihin natin, Lord, make me like your servant. Ibig sabihin, hindi na ako, Lord. Hindi na yung dating selfish na ako. Na everything is about me. But now, Lord, it's about you. Make me. Amen po? Pwede po ba nating tanungin sa isang father? Isaiah 45, 9. Anong ginagawa? Let the father do what he decides to the clay. He is the master. He is our potter. Amen, Bob? Shall we all arise?
minsan pa, O oh Diyos, nagpapasiliksik po ang aming mga puso. Anything, O oh God, na aming pong dala-dala. Ano mang kasalanan, ano mang shortcomings, O Diyos na aming nagawa minsan nakakalimutan na po namin nagawa po namin sa aming mga magulang mga kapatid even to this family Lord ipaalala mo po sa amin O Diyos tanggalin mo sa amin ang pagiging self-righteous Ubarin mo, O Diyos, ang mga piring sa aming mga mata para hindi namin makita, O Diyos, ang mga kasalanan mismo namin. Anything that we have caused hurt, anything that has offended our brothers and sisters, Prayers 
that being altered right now. May you find us humble, Lord. May you find us genuinely repented and forgiven. Father, we thank you so much for the story of the prodigal son. Thank you, Lord, that after all, it is not a bad ending. After all, oh God, you have done what you have done by the power of your spirit. Marami pong salamat maging silbing aral po ito sa aming mga buhay na sa aming pag-uwi aayusin namin ang aming relasyon sa aming nanay sa aming tatay sa aming mga kapatid sa aming mga kamag-anak because you are the great restorer of all things we entrust to you by the power of your spirit Lord to bless us and anoint us with a deeper kind of humility and a deeper understanding of forgiveness in our lives thank you so much Lord for everything that you have done Thank you so much for a new beginning. Thank you so much for a restored life. Thank you so much, Lord, for every blessings that you have bestowed today and this afternoon. Father, we thank you. Seal what you have done. May the power of your spirit that is within us, O oh God. Thank you, Father. Receive the glory, the honor. May your name be honored through our lives. May your name be honored through our reconciliation. May you honor, may your name be honored through our humility and forgiveness, Lord. Father, we thank you so much. Indeed, the glory is yours. The power is yours. Everything is yours, O oh God, this afternoon. We thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Are we all blessed? Are we all blessed? Are we revived? 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 With our hearts in the deep Jesus is more with our lips With our lips in the air With our hearts in the deep Jesus is more Jesus Jesus is more Oh, oh Jesus is more Jesus is more Oh, oh Let's go Let's go.
How great is our God to me. Sing with me. How great is our God. And all we're singing, how great, how great is our God. Sing it for the very last time, how great.
walang paglaban, walang pagmamalaki na susunod po kami kung ano yung itinuturo mo sa amin. Maraming pong salamat. Can we lift up our hands to God? We receive your forgiveness this afternoon. Thank you, Lord. Dismiss us with the love of the Father, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. From now on until He comes, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Sama niyo po sa panalangin na po, everyday ang Lord, 